I've been in the studio today, but making some bowls, casseroles, and wine coolers, and Jim showed up with a camera. <laughs> so we're going to talk about casseroles. I'm going to throw a casserole dish. What will happen is I'll throw this dish um, from start to finish. Uh, we'll go through the drying, the trimming, the handles, the everything, how to bisque and wax and glaze and do everything except for cook in the casserole dish. You can decide that yourself. I always throw large things on a bat. The only thing I don't throw on a, on a wooden bat are uh, the mugs. Now I've got this wedged up in here. I've got my casserole wedges and my wine cooler wedges. This is the lid and this is the bowl. Keep it in the plastic and it can wait. I'm going to put this on with some attitude and center. Whoa! So I like to use a wet bat. If, it's, uh, if you put it on dry, it will take the moisture from the clay and it will pop off. But as you just saw, if it's too wet, it will slide all over. It's stuck now. I'm just going to center it. We do have videos on YouTube on centering. I'm going to fill those little holes in. It hurts if you're sliding along, throwing, and you fall in one of those little bat holes with your fingers. I'm going to center this. This piece of clay will make a medium casserole. It'll prob probably be about a two-quart casserole. And I'm going to center it. I'm going to center a little bit wide. The base of your centered piece uh, dictates how big the bottom of your pot is. You can't make a wide pot out of a skinny center. And Anyway, um, so you want it to be about that wide. I'm going to open. Notice when I open how, how uh, controlled I am. I have my elbows. This elbow's on my knee. Both elbows are in my ribs. My hands are joined. And I'm all leaned together. I have this sort of triangle of strength. And I'm going to open it going down, being careful not to let the bottom get too thin. Everyone says, well, how thick is it? I'll show you. I like it to be a little thick on the bottom. One, I'm going to open it up and tidy it up, and I'm going to keep compressing the bottom. You do lose some thickness, but two, you want this piece to be fairly thick. On the bottom right now, it's about that thick, if you can see on the camera. And um, True story, you want your casserole dishes or your kitchen stuff to be thick. Uh, way back in the day, as I call it, when we had our big studio in Edmonton, a fellow came into the studio, he had lent his bean pot out, and whoever he lent it to, they broke the lid. This fellow probably was 85 years old, and his grandmother used to make beans in that bean pot. He was a little bent when the lid was broken, but anyway, the bean pot itself on the bottom was about an inch and a half thick. The bean pot was 100 years old. If you make a sturdy kitchen utensil, it will last for until someone tries to drop it and, and don't lend it to your friends. But it's, it's best to make your, your kitchen things, your kitchen bowls, casseroles, a little bit sturdier and a little bit. It's always better to be heavier than thinner. <laughs> and it's just best to keep them a little on the sturdy side. They will last for years. I'm opening this up. And I'm just pulling my fingers to the palm of my hand. As I said, check out the other YouTubes on centering and opening. And then I'm going to pull it up the same way I do all of them. I'm going to switch from inside to outside. And I like that bigger sponge better. When I'm throwing, I always make sure my, my walls are slidey. I'm going to pull up. As I pull up, my inside hand is slightly below my outside hand, and they come together at the top. But I said all these techniques are talked about somewhere else, and I don't want it to get too thin. I also don't want it to bowl out. The centrifugal force on the wheel always makes, wants to make bowls. We're going to do a casserole dish. I'm going to actually cuddle this in a little bit. When you cuddle clay in, you always push in, a, push in and pull up. Your clay has to have somewhere to go. Now I have this casserole shape. It is a bit too heavy yet. And I'm just going to work on the walls. My fingertips are now directly across from each other. So they're a straight across pressure. And notice how thick this top is. The thickest part in this pole 
is the top of the dish. You want to always leave enough clay in there to have a nice sturdy um, lip or edge to hold your lid. I want to bowl this out a bit so now I'm just shaping if you want to uh, you could go in there with the rib. I sometimes go in there with the big rib but not everybody has a rib and so you can throw without. Going to tidy up the bottom of the casserole. I want to make sure that the bottom is very flat and tidy. It doesn't have any bumpy bits. People are going to be using this and scraping out their food. You don't want to be dragging your spoon or what your utensil across an uneven bottom. I want to make it a little bit fatter here, so I'm just going to push out at the bottom a bit. I have just about the thickness I want this to be. And how thick is it? I'll show you in a minute. Inside to outside, it is, where is it? It is about that thick. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, that's about, and I wouldn't want it any thinner than that. Going to straighten it up. Now, this is the neat pull that makes the nice edge for the casserole lid to sit in. I have that thickness. I'm going to pull it up this way. And you see, still, and you still can see I have a lot of thickness. I'm going to lay that over my finger. And I'm just laying it over my finger. I'm supporting on the outside. And as I do that, see how it starts to make this nice little round indent for your lid to sit on. I'm going to emphasize that a little bit. And I'm going to use my thumb to throw that lip. And later on, you're going to be glad you used your thumb to throw that lip. Because as you're, we're going to fire and we're going to glaze and fire. And you're going to wax inside this edge and if your thumb went in there and made the size of the lip when it's full of wax and you're trying to clean it your thumb's going to go in there and make it all tidy it will fit you throughout the process this is a nice little dish i always like to get down and look at the side i like to have a curve a definition and a cut up come up and end a pot should come up and just end it can't just run out of clay it has to go I'm a pot and I'm done. Well, this is a pot and it's done. I'm going to throw the lid for it in a few minutes and I'll show you how to make it fit and how to make your lid come up and say, I'm done.